Welcome to the Explorers Club. The club was founded in 1904 by early Arctic explorers who made a simple but elegant promise to promote exploration by all possible means. It was the dawn of the 20th century, yet we forget that even then, vast, remote regions of the world were uncharted and unknown. It was still a decade before club member Ernest Shackleton would sail in the Endurance on his epic Antarctic expedition. It would be 16 years before the first expeditions to Mount Everest. But America's greatest explorer politician was in the White House, Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt himself, a member of the Explorers Club, a decade later would lead his famous River of Doubt expedition into the unknown reaches of the Amazon. For more than a century, members of the club have traversed the earth, the oceans, the skies, and have even brought Explorers Club flags to the moon. Members Robert Perry and Matthew Henson, first to the North Pole in 1909. Member Ruel Amundsen, first to the South Pole in 1911. Members Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay, first to summit Mount Everest in 1953. Club member Reinhold Mesner, the first to summit the world's 14 8,000-meter peaks without using bottled oxygen. Explorers Club members have gone to the deepest depths of the ocean in the Marianas Trench in the Western Pacific. Members Jacques Picard and Don Walsh in 1960, and Club member James Cameron in 2012. Each of the 202 Explorers Club flags is numbered and its history is carefully preserved, along with the record of its expeditions. The flags document a formidable legacy of courage and achievement by club members since 1918. Explorers Club Flag 123 went with member Tor Heyerdahl on the raft Contiki in 1947. Flag 116 was on the first whitewater descent of the Everest of Rivers, the fabled Tsangpo Gorge in Tibet in 2002. And Explorers Club Flag was with Naomi Uemura on his solo trek to the North Pole by dog sled in 1979, another first for a club member. Members include oceanographer Sylvia Earle, an Explorers Club fellow since 1981. Time magazine named her its first hero for the planet in 1998. From the second generation of space explorers, club member Sally Ride was the first American woman in space in 1978. Member Commander Catherine Sullivan, the first woman to walk in space and International Space Station Commander Leroy Chow, a veteran of four space missions. Distinguished anthropologists in the Explorers Club include Jane Goodall, Lewis and Richard Leakey, Donald Johansson, and Diane Fossey. Today in Uganda, member Gladys Kalima Zikusosa is one of the leading conservationists and scientists working to save the critically endangered mountain gorillas of East Africa. Our members come from every walk of life, women and men who add to our understanding of the world in more than 60 expeditions a year. Academic expeditions in every field of science, natural history and geography, personal quests to push the boundaries of human endurance and survival. Expeditions to bring medical care to people isolated by distance or geography. Perhaps most important, the club is leading a change in the meaning of exploration, from Western-centered to world-centered. Our initiative with the King of Bhutan and the King's Challenge is to rigorously protect the extraordinary cultures and wild landscapes of indigenous peoples, beginning in Bhutan, to promote sustainable growth and conservation. The headquarters of Explorers Club World Exploration is in the heart of New York City. And with more than 28 club chapters around the world, the Explorers Club serves as a base for expedition planning, exploration news, presentations, meetings, and events. Explorers Club public programs, lectures, and dinners now stream live around the world on our website, www.explorers.org. Over the last decade, the club headquarters has become the world's preeminent venue for screenings of expedition and exploration films. Its renowned research collection and library in the New York headquarters are a resource for scholars and researchers with more than 10,000 rare papers, photographs, films, 
and journals of Club Explorers. Its cartography collection contains 4,000 historic maps and topographical charts. Its vast collection of expedition artifacts and memorabilia is donated by Explorer members. Along with the past, the Explorers Club nurtures the Explorers of Tomorrow and the Young Explorers of Today through its Youth Grants and Scott Perlman Field Awards to support original scientific fieldwork. In the last five years, the club has awarded over a half million dollars to hundreds of students from all over the world. In 2013, the club awarded its first Artist in Exploration Award, underwritten by Rolex, to photographer Rebecca Reeve. In 1980, the club created the Lowell Thomas Awards, given annually at the Lowell Thomas Dinner, named after America's best-known travel writer and international broadcaster. Lowell Thomas Award winners, club members Bertrand Picard and Andre Borschberg, were the first to fly a solar-powered airplane across the United States and set several new world distance records in solar aviation. The Explorer's Medal is the club's highest honor and is awarded for extraordinary contributions in the fields of exploration, scientific research, or the welfare of humanity. I think the Explorer's Club performs a function for this country uh, that's very, very valuable. And those days when the old maps that we used to see that showed the known world and then showed often the edges of the charts, it showed boiling pots of oil and dragons and, and so on. Our whole history has been one of dragon pushing, pushing dragons back off the edge and filling in those gaps on the maps. And that's a key role that the Explorers Club has, has provided. The goal of SpaceX uh, has been from the beginning to try to advance space technology, ultimately to uh, take us beyond the Earth-Moon orbit arena and establish life on Mars. I believe I can see a path to getting the cost of, a, of moving to Mars under half a million dollars, um, which is, I think, the critical threshold necessary for it to become a self-sustaining civilization. Um, you have to have an intersection of sets where you have enough people that want to go and can afford to go. Um, and I think th there's actually not going to be that many people that want to go. I mean, probably a lot of people in this room. <laughs> Welcome to the Explorers Club, the world center of exploration. Why should we go into space? The obvious answer is because it's there, all around us. Not to leave planet Earth would be like castaways on a desert island, not trying to escape. If one is considering the future of humanity, we have to visit other worlds ourselves. We have to boldly go. Shall I make it? We have to boldly go where no one has gone before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have to boldly go where no one has gone before. What an amazing honor this is. This is definitely the Academy Awards of Exploration. There's no question. <laughs> I might have picked up a couple of Oscars along the way, but this is definitely better. Yeah.